and welcome into a Saturday edition of Rescues in Action. We are here with uh, Jeremy from the uh, Suncoast Bassett Rescue, and you brought a Bassett along. Talk to us about this guy. That I did. We brought along today Tucker. Okay. Tucker's about one to two years old. Um, he is a sweet thing, a ball of energy. Uh, gets along great with other dogs, um, especially the kids. If you have the kids at home, this is definitely the puppy for you. Um, Tucker is roughly about 40 pounds, and we don't expect that he's going to get much bigger than that. So this is this is about his his optimum weight too. Yeah, it's kind of he's he's kind of what we call a petite basset. Okay. So we kind of keep him low to the ground. Um, so he'd be good for families that live in apartments and that sort of thing. And the reason I say that is because. Uh, of all things, he's not a barker, which is really odd right. for a basset. Really? Yeah, it doesn't howl, doesn't bark. Um, so we don't know if his vocal cords have been removed or he's just still a little bit shy with us. He's, but, a, uh, he's a really good boy. I mean, he has been very docile, very, very pleasant to be around in the yeah. studio waiting all morning. And, uh, you know, with a dog like this, um, you can really put him anywhere. It's an apartment, a house. I mean, you don't have to have a exactly. big yard for him to run around. Um, he absolutely loves to go for walks, which is a great thing for him. So if you are in an apartment, you can just take him on out and away he'll go. Um, the one thing about Tucker, though, is you notice his coat has actually come back considerably. Tucker came to us. Um, he suffered from what we call demodex, which is a skin mm -hmm. condition with uh, mites that get in the hair follicles. But uh, through a lot of medication and some TLC, as you can see, he loves to... He's very interested in everything. Now, I, I, how, many, how many of these uh, Bassets do you have in your rescue program right now? Um, well, the Bassett Rescue was founded back in 1997, and mm -hmm. since that time we've rescued over 2,000 Bassets. Really? And um, I'd say probably had maybe close to 70 currently in our care. Well, are they all in foster care, or you have to keep some of them in, in, in kennels at this point? Um, there are a couple that are still in kennels that we'd love to get to foster homes, mm -hmm. but our foster homes are so overwhelmed right. by the number of bassets that have been coming in that uh, we are looking for fosters or volunteers um, because everybody that works in Suncoast Bassett are volunteers. Or a forever home for a little pup like uh, like Tucker. Look at this face. Can you, get, can you turn around again, Come Tucker? Tucker. We've got to give you one more shot. There you go. Get the close-up there. That is a handsome young man. That's the sucker face. Yep. And uh, uh, Tucker can be yours if you call the number there on the screen or get in touch with the folks at Suncoast Bassett Rescue. Thanks for coming by. Pleasure, sir. Appreciate it. And we are still to check headlines around the globe this morning. Beaches are closed in Australia following a deadly shark attack there. We're going to tell you what happened.